All right, uh, we're back, and oh, this is an interesting start. So we got... We are kicking our way to victory this time. Okay. This is going to take some work. I... This is... Quite possibly one of the most interesting weapons I've ever seen in the game. <laughs> I don't know how to react to it. It's not great. It's just really funny. If we can get some strength ups, this could be absurd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't have words. I don't have words. This is hilariously stupid. Um okay. Well, I okay. <laughs> I like the shoes. Dude, the shoes are great. The shoes are dumb great. Um <laughs> I'm just like I kind of want to use them for a run, but I can't imagine it's going to go well. That's that's the issue for me. It's like, but if I use them, I'll probably die. But maybe that's okay. Please keep them. Sure, why not? We're going to we're going to commit to the boot. We're going to this is the wander boot run. The only thing I don't like about them is they have um they have severe limitations on where you can hit enemies. Uh, or, well, I guess not necessarily enemies, but, uh... Yeah, all I have to do is sit here and just, uh, what is it called? It's not flamenco dancing, it's, uh, line dancing? Of course we get the rapier. I'll get that instead of the quick bow. It gives us uh, something or other. I, I don't know. I'm just... I don't know what to say about these boots. They're great. They're dumb. We need, uh, we probably need, like, teleportation, maybe? It's my character Chuck Norris. Doesn't Chuck Norris generally do punches? Also, I don't know. I've, I've never been a particularly big fan of Chuck Norris. His, uh, political views are not exactly what I'd call wholesome. So I've always been like, ah, oh, Chuck Norris jokes. There's so many better candidates. Well, all right. <laughs> yeah, sure. We're just we're just going to commit to this. We are yeah. I don't well, sure. And none of these are any good. Well, back to kicking. Hey, stand up. All right, uh we need strength. I'm probably going to get killed here, but I'm going to try and focus strength. And I'm just going to go kick enemies in the butt. Oh, interesting. These guys prepping their, um... These guys prepping their, uh... Their, uh... What is it? The the bombs. The guys that, uh, that fire the bombs at you? They, uh... That does not apparently count as an attack. That's kind of unfortunate. Boots and assault shield. Uh, maybe? I'll think about it. I'm probably just gonna focus on the boots. Uh-oh. This is a very bad time to be scratching my shoulders. Okay, well, bad news is I can't hit the birds beyond certain angles. That's bad. We should do like axe kicks or something. That'd be that'd be a nice uh, mid ground. Really, that's it for this level. Just two stat ups and nothing interesting. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that is a bad box. Uh, what do we want to do? Ossuary, promenade of the condemned. Actually, let's do promenade of the condemned. That's probably the one most likely to to have changed, and I think there's a there's a new blueprint on top of a tower in the ramparts. If people uh, if people feel like uh, correcting me on this one, uh, specifically l where like new stuff is, then let me know, because I'd I'd actually like to find every new blueprint we can get our hands on. Okay, well, seeing as we can get an easy ten percent damage boost here, we'll go with that. 
Okay, health restored. Back to kicking our way through everything. Okay, uh, let's see. So I don't think we have anything useful over there. I yeah, that's that's where the assassin's dagger is. Now, let's see. There's a blueprint above the entrance to the promenade of the condemned. Yeah, that's the blueprint for the assassin's dagger. Uh, we already got that though. Okay, so we need more in damage, especially because we got a health pickup right there. Oh, I guess it does count as them charging up an attack. Maybe I was just slow. Come back and let me kick you. There we go. <laughs> I I really like this. This is dumb. I I like the idea of this weapon. It's probably going to be terrible. I'm really curious if it's going to be effective against the um I I'm really curious if it's going to be effective against the uh the boss or not. Oh. Uh... Critical blow of the victims up against a wall. Okay, so we've got the boots of kicking and the impaler. All right, these are the. This is a. This is fun. Anything to do with this barrel thing? No, I guess you can break it. I was like, is there anything fancy about that? And the answer is surprisingly not. Oh, oh, oh that impaler. That impaler though. The Impaler does not mess around. I like the boots because the effects are pretty great, but the Impaler is just absurd. I, oh man, I, I really like these new new items. They're fun. If you guys see any uh, secrets, as usual, let me know. Because I'm very liable to miss them. I'm not exactly paying attention. There we go. What I want are upgrades of what I have. I have noticed that this game is slightly more likely to give you things. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Ah, got to remember which button's which. Okay, well that's the spiteful sword. I'm just gonna use that. It's a little bit faster. The boots are nice, but they're maybe a little slow. I don't know. They really just don't have the reach. Oh boy. They don't have the reach that this necessitates. Okay. There we go. Get back against the wall. Unfortunately, I usually just kill them before they uh before they get to me. Well, that's fine. Boots for every boot. Bip. I'm not doing this right. Unfortunately, I'm like kind of out of sorts today. Uh, I just got back from like an hour-long walk, and I'm it's messing with my head. Let's see if I unlock the quick bow. Yep, everything pre-beta I have unlocked. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, yeah. I like the impaler a lot. Honestly, uh, if I had to choose between one versus the other, the impaler absolutely gets my vote. Because the Impaler, it's just so fast, and it's got reach for days. I think it's actually got the longest reach of any of the weapons. That I know of. I guess the whip has a longer reach, but the whip is garbage. Whereas the boot has, like, the boot has interesting things. Heals when you parry. That's kind of an interesting prospect. Do we give do we give up on the uh do we give up on the boots for kicking in favor of a shield for healing? It's kind of tempting. So what's up with the uh the weird branch here? Okay. So why does it branch off? What's the deal with the other? I have no idea. Okay. Well, at least we get plenty of this. I'm just confused. 
Oh, that's fine. Hello. Yeah, Impaler. Can I? Yeah. So it looks like I can just kind of kick spam my way through these guys. I guess the boots would be kind of amazing against the, um... The boots would be kind of amazing against the, the hook guys. They go heal shield. It's tempting. I'm just trying to figure out, like, where all of these places lead. Okay, so this brings us to the prison depths. Oh. Do they all bring me to different, uh... So this brings me to the ramparts. Does the other one... Does the other one bring me to the, uh, the sewers? Is that how this works? Because that's kind of an interesting prospect. Yeah, old sewers. So where's the last one go? I, I didn't. I didn't realize that the uh, promenade, promenade of the condemned, would let you um, loop back. None of the other ones do. Well, I guess the other ones let you go to. Okay, uh, let's get this. I still haven't found a skill yet, have I? Huh. That's weird, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Well, there's our first skill. Okay, it's... Grenades. There we go. Oh, and it's a uh, it's a bomber. It's a bomber zombie. That's that's honestly about as benign as I could ask for. Ow! And we get uh, we get death orb for it. That's a really good death orb too. Death orb four could potentially last me the whole run. The health or, health up like that. Okay, so it just it just goes deep like this. That's different. Not unwelcome. Just different. Any of these any good? No, they're all garbage. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're going for the ramparts. Yeah, I like the idea of the spiked boots, but I think... Uh, I think the spiked boots are... Oh, do we, do we do this? I guess there's really no drawback for me doing it. Well, that, that was fast. <laughs> oh well, I will live. Honestly, like I know the rewards for that is better, but it's still probably not as good. Is this the new update? Of course, it's the new update. Why wouldn't it be the new update? Now I'm gonna hold myself back because uh, arbitrary stubbornness. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So what do we got? Let's max that out, I guess. Probably not going to mess with vampirism. I'd like to work on the boots, but honestly, let's uh, keep throwing cells into the impaler. Uh, it definitely seems like a weapon I want to use. Oh, and let's use the Healy thing. Not that it really matters. So you want to take the amulet for 10% damage bonus? Nah, it's not worth the money. We'll get we'll get better upgrades later as we go along. Okay, so a room with the view. I always really liked the Rampart's design. It, I mean, it remember uh, reminds me of the Undead Berg in uh, in Dark Souls. Ooh, other nice, really nice thing about the Rampart specifically is uh, almost all of my enemies are going to be up against a wall. Not almost all of them. Oh, A, not the. Yeah, sorry. I'm kind of in a snippy mood today, so I'm going to be a little bit um, curmudgeon-y, I think. Uh... I woke up, like, I've been waking up really early this week for various reasons. Uh, yesterday it was the... Okay. Was it... It was Tuesday. Tuesday was the, um... Tuesday were the, uh, the bug folks. Wednesday was the tornado siren. Every, the first Wednesday of every month, they have a... They have the siren go off, more or less, to be like, yay, the siren works. You don't have to worry, we'll let you know if a tornado actually comes through. Uh, and today, I just, I don't know why I woke up early, but I have, oh, maybe it's just because of the, the pain. Uh, absolutely corrupted power. Um, 
but I woke up r rather early and the like um I guess the area around my right peck just was so sore. Uh, I must have slept on my arm wrong or something like that, because uh, I'd like I couldn't breathe in fully, which is super uncomfortable. Though that's not like that unusual for me. Um, I used to have trouble breathing in college for whatever reason. I think it was just the dryness of the air or whatever. Um, but uh, that combined with just you know pain and stuff like that, and it just it just made me into a crankle bus that uh, I haven't quite gotten myself out of today. Combo that with uh, finding out that my Fallout run needs to be started over for the upteenth time and uh, having to work on just like a bunch of things. I don't know. You just kind of all uh, boil it together and after a certain point it's just like, I'm not having a bad day. I'm just having a cranky day. And it's always one of those where it makes me a little bit snippy when I really shouldn't be. I should be using Death Orb here now that I'm thinking about it. Other thing is does that heal me? Actually, I don't even know if I've taken damage yet. Well, I guess we're going for... Oh, his back. But it's not worth it. Swarm of Biters calls for my victims. Like, I like the idea of the boots, but I'm going to wait until we get a really good ability for it or not. Uh, let's see. But yeah, Fallout has to be restarted. Luckily, I can just throw the game on easy and just blitz through things real quick. I mean, nice part about restarting games is it's always faster the upteenth time. Oh, shoot. He turned around. I didn't even notice. Oh, I love, like, jump smashing enemies. It feels really good. They really got that, that uh, feature done right. Ow. And yeah, even though we don't have the, uh, even though we don't have, uh, the effect proccing, the, uh, the impaler is just fun to use. I really wish the, um, the normal spear actually had the same speed as the impaler, and maybe just had like a lower damage or something to account for the multiple uh for trying to hit multiple enemies though i do have to appreciate the fact that they do have slightly different patterns Whoop. okay where does this bring us oh right for one of these guys hell no Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to mess around with the uh, the block healing. I don't do that very often, and I'm curious. Let's see. What are the things that spawn when killing enemies, and how does that happen? Oh, the uh, the little like pink bow worm things. That's an effect of one of my abilities. Hello. Oh, there's just a portal over here. Okay, let's go back up to the top. Oh, that's after the time gate. Seems like a huge level or something like that. Alright. Holy crap, that is slow. Ah, didn't get him either. I love the fact that that applies to, um... That applies to spells as well. That's a really nice... Really nice feature. And it scales perfectly with the game. Okay, and we get a chicken drumstick. Yee. Okay, so we've got some area around here that has supposedly a, uh, that supposedly has a, an unlock. I was trying to roll it to the other side of him. Didn't fa- uh, it didn't work. But yeah, um, so what's the thing that's spawns the biters. Actually, it's it's my impaler that spawns them. Every time I kill an enemy with it, it, uh, every time I kill an enemy with it, it spawns a couple of biters. Maybe just one? Not entirely sure. Does a lot of damage, uh, if I'm in a group fight. Okay, so where's this tower? 
Supposedly there's like a tower out here that has a uh, has a blueprint in it. Or really just the level keeps going dang. Well, more damage. Let's see is this game worth buying? Uh if you like roguelikes, uh, I'd say absolutely. It's probably one of the better roguelikes out there right now. Oh. The assault shield actually does damage. Didn't know that. I guess I don't really bother using it. It's not that it's a bad weapon, it's just that it's kind of hard to time comparatively to the other ones which just let you stand there. Oh, that's okay. Let's see. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I really like this game. It's incomplete and needs a lot of work and a lot of love to make it worth picking, uh, like to make it worth picking up. Uh, fully, but they seem pretty, uh, pretty effective at, at finishing. Finishing it, sort of? I don't know. Okay, so somebody said there was a blueprint, like, around here somewhere. I find this suspect. I should probably not kill myself by diving into pits. Check for hidden runes. Yeah, that's a good point. I've been keeping my eye out, but I haven't really seen much. I'd really like to get the amulet that actually makes it, um... You know, makes them visible-ish. You know, it'd actually be really nice if you could bring, like, one thing with you per run. But I guess that'd be a little bit OP. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing a uh, single thing around here. And yeah, we've got that one area. So, I guess the ramparts might have scaled up a little bit better. I'm not sure. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see it. I'll have, I'll have to look around. Maybe, 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 maybe we'll find something of worth. Maybe we won't. Okay. Uh, right. I was going to keep putting it into the impaler if I can find... Oh, wait, no. Let's max out the fire grenade now that I think about it. The more things I can actually permanently max out and never have to think about, the better. Okay. But no, life is life has been good. I just you know, some days you just you just wake up on the cranky side of the bed and you're like, "Beh. Beh." Then you take over the Senate. And then get killed by your apprentice. That's how it works, right? What are I forgot to use the Healy thing. Question. Probably doesn't work multiple times on this sucker. Well, that's unfortunate. And not that it really matters. This might actually be one of the harder fights I've had to do against this guy, because I actually have to... I actually have to fight him. Oh. Interesting problem. Can't roll through the fire. I guess that should be obvious. Oh, interesting other point. You can't see damage numbers on this guy. I don't think I realized that, but... It's not possible to see damage numbers. Okay, I was really hoping I could knock him back. Almost. There we go. Yeah, I gotta remember to use the, the Healy Juice. Well, that's okay. The, this boss is a bit of a... Bit of a chump. Okay, the Fog Fjord has a new blueprint there. Good to know. Okay, 12 cells straight to the Impaler. As somebody was wondering how I have the patience to like grind out all of these, it's actually surprisingly easy to max out things. Though, I still am mildly disappointed at all times that it's only a 5% boost per upgrade level. I mean, it still amounts to like a decent amount of damage. Ow. 
There we go. Thank you, Assault Shield. This is kind of working. Ow. Come on. Woo. Hi. Okay. I guess part of it is I can use the shield to block some of these things. But yeah, we're not doing enough damage right now to justify some of this. I guess the damage booster will help. And if I do get them crammed into a wall, it helps too. Let's see. On Tuesday, I mentioned I couldn't see the damage numbers. Yeah, I can see them for myself. Maybe it's under miscellaneous? No. Video? No. I don't know. I don't know why I can't see the damage numbers. I mean, it could it could be some kind of like bug or whatever. Extra skills. Enemies release toxic clouds when they die. Now, I like the idea of meat grinder, but it uh, doesn't fit my build. I mean, admittedly, I don't really have much of a build. I might almost want to switch back to the. Oh. I might almost want to switch back to the. Uh, I might almost want to switch back to the, uh, the other setup. Eh, whatever. I mean, we got a shield that heals me. I've got, I mean, really, I just need to use, ow. I really just need, need to use death orb to its fullest extent instead. And yeah, it looks like death orb still has infinite range. It's just crazy slow and does probably less damage. Okay. Whoa! Alright, I'm just gonna let Death Orb do its thing. Yeah, De Death Orb has received a massive... A what? Has received a massive damage down. Well, that's okay. Maybe I just don't have a high enough uh, skill level. Oh, piss. Wrong direction. Yeah, whoa. I think they made it so enemies can't uh, one-shot you anymore. Because I'm noticing... I mean, that would have killed me right out. Is it just me, or am I, like, incredibly weak right now? I don't know, it feels weird. Maybe it's just because I'm I'm using the impaler and I don't know what it's like regular damage value should be. Interesting question. I don't know. Well, one way or another, uh, we wanna Actually now that I'm thinking about it. There we go. I can just send that off. Let's get some HP. Okay. Piss him off a bit. There we go. Looks like we got a rune over here with a little bit of food. It looks like the runes are more, uh, maybe a bit rarer, but have better things in them. Could be wrong. Ow. Uh, I always get hit by that. Well, I'm just glad I've got the shield. Oh, I wonder if it's the shield, actually. Like, um... I wonder if it's the shield that prevents me from from getting one shot there. That it's the one that, uh... That, you know, just keeps me from, uh... From dying, I guess? I don't know. No, I'm fairly certain I've had that happen. I'm fairly certain I've had that happen. Okay. Well, this is mildly frustrating. Okay. I really like the assault shield. I just wish the assault shield would uh, prevent them from winding up an attack. Honestly, the Assault Shield does more damage than my 
regular attack to some degree. Okay, yeah, I'll have to try a different thing. Let's see. Pick the game up today. Let's see. Do you see different entrances to different levels? Know which one to pick. Uh, a lot of it is personal preference. Uh, every level is... Every level leads to the same location. Um, the main differences are, like, what do you feel like fighting? Do you feel like fighting, uh, you know, poisonish enemies? Do you feel like... Uh, do you feel like fighting, uh, undead? Well, I guess you have to fight certain enemies. They don't have, uh, variations. They don't have any variations in levels, uh, once you make it up to this point in the game. Whoops. Yeah, we gotta find a different weapon. I like this one, but, uh, the Impaler just doesn't do enough damage to make it worth it. Okay. Boost. Fire. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, I'll just fire off the death orb. I was going to try and do a, a boosted death orb, but it, it did not feel like uh, firing. There we go. Well, I got to give credit where credit is due. Assault shield does, does do the trick when it comes to damage. But yeah, I like the Impaler, but it uh, it doesn't knock enemies back enough. Covers enemies in flammable oil. Extra damage on a burning time. Okay, it feels like it's kind of lining up for something there. Um, I don't have anything that... Yeah, heals when you parry versus... Flammable oil, fires an arrow upward. Okay, let's go Electric Whip 5. Let's go back to old haunts. Old tricks. Let's see, so uh, I've had a number of people tell me that, like, Northern Lion has done a series on this. Is he decent at it? Because, like, I I will admit I, I had to give up on watching Northern Lion years ago. Because, um... Because, uh, it was uh, messing with my commentary. I was starting to mimic him. Um, and so, like, I actually have no idea how other YouTubers are in relation to this game, or most other games, really. Okay, I'm glad to see the uh, boosted whip damage is still good. I think there might be something at the top uh, top right of this? We'll have to see. He's garbage, but he's slowly learning. Good. I don't know. I This is definitely one of the better roguelikes to come out of, uh, come out of this year. I mean, to be fair, there have actually been some pretty decent ones. I don't see anything up there. Don't expect anything out of the egg? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's damn good at Isaac, comparatively. I've seen some pretty garbage people playing Isaac. Okay, and he's never made it to the Watcher. Wow. Well, then again, I I think I've been playing this for longer than him. I don't know. I again, I don't I don't watch people. It's a fun thing to like kind of think about watching people, but the most I can manage is like one 10 minute funhouse video. Oh, we actually want to go for over here now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, of course, Northern Lion's main draw is not exactly his skill. It's his uh it's his commentary and I got to admit, his commentary is kind of perfect. And I've always been jealous of that. Unfortunately, I just don't have the brain for, like, pop references that he does. Let's see, which roguelike game is the best at the moment? I... Uh, bad time to ask. I think I broke the cannonball guy. Otherwise, I probably would have died there. <laughs> Whip him. Whip him good. Okay, uh... Ooh. That'd be some crazy risk. Also, boop. Okay, now Lightning Orb's doing enough uh, enough damage. Maybe it's just a little while. Okay. There we go. Uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. Well, it's fine. I've been trying to make it a habit of not talking about other YouTubers, period, uh, for quite a while now. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work that way. Yeah. There we go. Nice thing about the electric whip. Bip. Nice thing about the electric whip, despite the fact that it's pure garbage uh, at damage, you can float above enemies and just whip them forever. 
Ow! Ah. Oh, we're out of heals, but that's fine. We're almost done. Let's see. Ooh. 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 Ugh. No. I I like the I like the IV grenade. The IV grenade is really good. Let's see, this is gonna be rough if I make it to the watcher. Oh yeah, if I make it to the watcher with uh, the electric whip, I'm kind of boned. Um, I might be able to make it with stats alone. Um, but the the electric whip uh, is the electric whip needs help. It needs it needs some kind of buff. And uh, it might be a little while before it gets that. I might be able to make it if only because I can boost the damage on my um, on my death orb to actually make it worth something. Because yeah, I, I didn't even realize they they nerfed it quietly. Because I think they nerfed it quietly. Maybe if I had a higher um, skill level. But ulti ultimately, if I also get like a, if I ultimately get like a much higher, uh, oops, if I get a much higher level uh, weapon here, we'll be okay. Ow, <laughs> we'll be okay too. I guess those axes are not nearly as damaging as they could be. Okay, I think that'll hit him. Ah, oh, it hits all of them. Nice. Okay. Yeah! It's not useful, but it makes me happy. Oh, there's, there's, an, there's one of the elite little blue dudes? Really? Now that's funny. Now, well, I guess I'll just hang out here. Firing whatever at them. Okay, uh, phaser. Still not good. Not good. Like, honestly, my skills are good. I just need... I just need a, uh, a better weapon to pull this forward. The electric whip has uses, but mainly it's against flying units that are really hard to get. Okay. So, well, at the very least, we get a damage up. I'll take that. Um... But yeah, no, uh, Death, or Death Orb is doing well enough. Uh, the main reason why I like Death Orb is it's slow, it's reliable, and it does a ton of damage. I'd probably replace it with, uh, I'd probably replace it with Knife Storm, maybe. That, that'd be the trick. Now, somebody was, uh, giving me shit for this earlier. Uh, that my, my speech gets really interrupted really hard when I'm playing this game specifically. Um... Like, my brain will just kind of... Uh, it, how do I put it? I'll hit a snag, and then I'll get stuck for a while. And then I'll be like, eh, er, eh, eh. And then, like, we have to wait for my brain to process information. It's just... It's just endemic to trying to play hard roguelikes. You're not going to be able to have, like, consistent commentary with that. Shit's going to distract you so hard. That's frustrating, but it's life. Okay, so we're going into the graveyard. I'd say a little bit underpowered. I've definitely been stronger than this in the past. We need, um, I'd swear there might be something up there. We need to get our hands on, honestly, stat points. Like, boosted death orb is probably going to help a bunch. Wait, what? Probably a better electric whip would be the trick, though. Or just weapon in general. Oh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's a shame that the whip never, no longer stun locks. I probably actually would have been better off with the boot. Oops. Yeah, the whip not stun locking enemies might actually be a huge reason why it's not as strong. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh, we set the ground on fire, which... Holy crap, that burning effect is amazing. Yeah, maybe that's part of it. I've become spoiled by, uh... 
I've become spoiled by the environmental damage, and it's uh, destroying enemies. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, no, no. Giving you a giant pass, and let's keep going. But yeah, I might be able to beat the boss, if, if only because... Uh... Yee! These birds hurt. Birds really hurt. Okay, we're fine. Okay, there we go. Now, hopefully we find something. RNG has been, uh, mean. Yep. There we go. Throw the fire at them. RNG has been kind of mean to me this run. We got a lot of, like, interesting things, but nothing that's going to save my butt. Okay, so what's this? Uh, nah. Should you ever open up cursed chests? In my opinion, definitely not. Cursed chests are generally just a death sentence. If the curses got more interesting, I would say yeah, probably. But unfortunately, all of the curses are just like. Ah, I thought there was only uh, I thought there was only one of them left. Oh, that's fine. Um, but. It's, as it stands, the the only curse available is uh, the only curse available is if you take damage, you die, and it's just like, well, that's that's frustrating. I'm not going to sink a run for the chance of getting something amazing. If I like knew it was going to be awesome, shit. I was mashing that roll button, but it didn't it didn't save me. Not in the slightest. Yeah, if it was the Isaac curses, I'd be down. Like if if it blinded you for like. Not blinded, but like it made it really hard to see. Uh, that would be amazing. Or like any number of other things. But as it stands, it's just like, nope, you die. And it's like, well, never mind. But yeah, we we definitely need more HP by that point.